It is 706 and all new this morning today a race that aims to save lives. The yellow shirts in today's race for hope are worn by people who have survived brain cancer. Our Melissa Kim joins us live from Freedom Plaza with a preview. Uh, just an incredible cause for this and obviously the rain not stopping this event either. Good morning. Listen, Marcella, the rain is kind of letting up a little bit. I'm going to say optimistically in hopes that it will continue to do so here at Freedom Plaza, as you mentioned. 27th year of the Race for Hope here in D.C. Um, put on, of course, by the National Brain Tumor Society. They've raised millions of dollars over the year. This year, one and a half million dollars. I want to bring in David Aarons right now. He is the CEO of the National Brain Tumor Society. David, lovely day for a race, of course. Yes, of course. Um, but tell me about brain tumors and this, you know, brain cancer and how devastating it can be for those who are diagnosed here. Absolutely. There's over um, a million Americans with, with a brain tumor today, uh, some of which are the worst types of brain tumors like glioblastoma that took the lives of Bo Biden and uh, Senator Edward Kennedy and John McCain. Uh, and then there's, there's brain tumors that are more non-malignant and so someone may have surgery and then live the rest of life, but there's, there's no good brain tumor. Absolutely. And, you know, we're expecting, you said, about 6,000 people here today, some who are survivors, some who I know a family member was. Tell me a little bit about, you know, we were mentioning earlier that this affects such a small population of the country, but there, there's going to be so many people out here today. It's really incredible that uh, people know that, that anyone can get a brain tumor at any time. There's no early, early detection. There's no prevention, which means that everyone has a stake in fighting brain tumors and eliminating them. And so there'll be so many people here today, but that represents many more around the country who, whether they have a brain tumor or lost someone to a brain tumor or believe that they want to get rid of this disease so that they never have to face it, this is a very big movement. And we were speaking about this a little bit earlier uh, off camera. Obviously, this is also about raising money and one and a half million dollars raised so far this year. How important is that money, especially going towards research? Because that's obviously a big part of this. It, it matters so much. Uh, so much of this money goes directly into funding uh, state-of-the-art research and labs around the country, uh, money that goes to, to uh, uh, funding clinical trials, uh, just new discoveries to make new medicines. We need to bring about real change, and that takes scientific discovery and also helps us support our advocacy work. We're bringing over 300 patients and caregivers to Capitol Hill on Tuesday for our Head to the Hill event right after this race for Hope DC, where we ask Congress to, to increase federal funding for research, which will help uh, places like Johns Hopkins, George Washington, Georgetown, Innova, University of Maryland. It's going to help all of them discover cures, bring them about faster. David Aarons, thank you so much for your time thank this you. morning. Hopefully this weather lets up a little bit too. But again, as you heard, research, that's kind of what this is all about. That's what all this money goes towards um, in eliminating cancer across the board, but especially this one that affects millions of people across the country. Marcella, back to you. Right, that is certainly the goal. Melissa, we appreciate the update. Thanks so much.